Hello everyone, welcome to GeoNodes Daily Series where we do something cool in Geometry Nodes and we try to do it as fast as possible. And today we will going to make two presets, a float, mix floats presets and a mix vectors presets, as you saw in the title. And you can see this demo here, this is a use case for this mix vector preset that it's uh, also using uh, something that you cannot achieve with the mix color preset, uh, mix color node, and that is uh, overflowing. That's the biggest advantage of creating this uh, preset. I hope you enjoyed this uh, demo video that you, see, you are seeing here. I did enjoy creating it. So um, uh, for that, I'm going to make uh, another tutorial tomorrow explaining to you how to make this fake uh, meetable like uh, effect and uh, the chocolate that you see in this demo. Today we, will, we are going to make those presets. Uh, before we start, I want to thank all of you that are uh, subscribing to this channel. This helps a lot. Also, thank you for commenting on the videos. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking the videos. And uh, a big thank you to all of you that are supporting what I am doing by purchasing the projects on Gumroad. You will find this also on Gumroad. You have the link in the description of this video. And as usual, you have uh, nice labels for all the uh, uh, things that you see here. Uh, naming convention remains uh, constant throughout the projects and it's uh, nicely explained. And the, this preset, this uh, project, uh, along with the presets that you will be see uh, recreated today, you can uh, also have this uh, nice animation and this uh, example where you can choose your hero object instead of a monkey, you can put something else and you can play with uh, the position of the monkey, rotation, stuff like that. You can uh, play with the melting effect. You can uh, do stuff like that. As you can see here, you can melt the air. And this one, you can do a control of the morphing. And of course, you can um, uh, play with this uh, dripping speed. You can change it uh, here and also for the C and all that good stuff. But like I said, uh, today we are going to focus on recreating these two presets that you see here. Mix floats, mix vectors. We will have a clamp um, control and... Um, Everything is going to work just fine with um, these fields, as you can see um, here. So let's get started with uh, this by uh, looking at the new uh, fresh file. And first things first, let's look at the logic. We will uh, uh, use as a base uh, this mix RGB node. And uh, if you look in the manual, you will see the, what this node does. It's um, taking uh, this input, input one and input two, and using this factor, it's creating a linear interpolation between these two values. So at zero, you uh, get the first number, and at one, you get the second number. And when you go between them, you will find a value that is between this and this. One major limitation with this uh, uh, node is that you cannot do an uh, overflow, even though you can uh, put whatever value you want here, it will stop at zero to one range. And as somebody pointed out um, in one of my videos months, uh, a few months back, that can prove to be a big limitation that we will overcome with these presets. But um, what exactly does it mean to have a linear interpolation between two values? So interpolation would mean, of course, that you find the value that is in between these two values. So if we look, this is the value uh, one, let's call it zero. It's uh, easier because it's the easier to see with the factor and a value one. And we will find the value in between these two. And linear interpolation, you can look at the formulas online 
they are a little bit confusing for a lot of people. But if you think of linear as a line, linear means that you find uh, without uh, any deviation a value that is anywhere between these two values. And that's going to be our factor. But how exactly can you calculate this? Well, you have an input number and uh, one and a second number, two, that we don't know. And the factor is a number between these two. So for the simplicity sake, let's assume that uh, first number is uh, zero and the second number is one. And the factor is, let's say, 0 0.5. So what would be a number that it's between 0 and 1? And it's exactly halfway through. Well, that's simply to guess. It's 0 0.5 because uh, it's halfway between this interval that is of one unit, 0 to 1. So if you multiply this length of 1, that is the length of this segment with uh, 0 0.5, you get 0 0.5. And if you multiply this length of one with, let's say, 0 0.1, so we put this one to 0 0.1, you will get 0 0.1. And if this one is 0 0.9, you will get 0 point nine and so on and so forth. So the takeaway from here is that um, you can simply uh, take this factor and you can uh, multiply the factor with the length of this segment that is creating between these two values. So if you multiply the factor with the length, you will get a value. That's the value that you want to calculate. And you can put it on this uh, uh, segment, the distance between this, by adding it to the first number, this value. And that's going to give you this factor here. So how exactly can we do this? Let's draw the line again. And we have the first number. And we have the second number. And we have x and y, this is the numbers, and we have a factor that has to be anywhere between these two points. How can we calculate the length of this segment? It was easy to calculate to know that it's 1 because from 0 to 1 you have 1. But how we do it for any other values of x and y? It's simple. We simply subtract from the end the y, we subtract the x, and that's going to give us the length of this segment. And like we said, once we have this length, if we multiply it by our factor, whatever that value will be, and we add that to the first number, we will get what we want to get. So. Let's delete all this uh, uh, explanation and uh, let's start to um, build these uh, mixed floats presets. So I'm going to delete this loop input and we will create um, two values. So let's do a value one and we have a value two. That's going to be the first number, that's going to be the second number. And now we want uh, a math function on subtract. So we want to subtract from the second number, the first number. That's going to give us the length of our uh, segment. And once we have this value, we want to introduce a factor. And that's going to be a multiplication of... Um, whatever result we have here, the length of the segment with the factor. Excellent. Once we have this, 
we can uh, add it this result we can add it to the first number and once we did that we kind of get our output here so let's do a uh, let's select these three nodes control g to create a group and now we can plug it here so let's name these values so we know what we have the first value is um, float one the second value it's float two the third value is gonna be our factor excellent and the fourth value is not something that uh, we have. This is the float one, actually. And that's going to be the output. Easy enough, right? OK, let's add a clamp now uh, to our setup. So how can we do this? We have this node called clamp. So uh, we can build a switch. Let's take a switch, switch it to float, and we will expose this value and call it clamp. And if the clamp is off, that means we have uh, this value unclamped. And if it's on, we will have this value clamped. And now we can replace this output something like this of course we can expose these values here and we can call this clamp min and this one can be clamp max excellent so now we, if we go outside we have this um, preset that thing we can call mix floats and that's pretty much it for it let's do the other one let's create a mix vector preset and for that we will of course um, use vectors so let's start with an input uh, vector we are going to duplicate this one and we will need um, this um, uh, factor input and of course we will have a clamp min and clamp max that we can use here so let's do a vector math and do a subtraction from the first one we subtract the second one and then we can uh, do a scale of this vector by the factor it's the same thing as multiplying and after we did that we can uh, add uh, this result with uh, the first number like we did for uh, uh, the previous one and once we did this we will have an output that can, we can use so let me do another group here and i'm gonna pause here while i do the naming okay so time to implement the clamp uh, we don't have a clamp node here so we'll have to do uh, something to uh, overcome this problem let's do like we did before a switch uh, utilities switch switch this one to vector and let's expose this value here and I'm gonna put it above the clamp min and max and call it clamp and if it's false, we have the result uh, from here. 
and if it's uh, through the clamping we will do uh, something in between these values so let's select this one let's connect them and now we can do a simple clamp here excellent so we have this um these nice values here For the exposed values, let's duplicate this one two times. This will be clamp min, this will be clamp max here. Excellent. And now we can connect this minimum, maximum to the Y and of course to the Z. Excellent. So now we can uh, make those smaller H S two scale them S okay and we can move it like this to arrange things a little bit and save the project. So that will be uh, the end of this um, second preset, the vector output. So now we can delete this and we can name this one mix vectors. Excellent. So again, how this one is uh, working, we have an input vector one and we have an input vector two. Then we calculate uh, the distance between um, these two vectors uh, by subtracting the sec from the second vector we subtract the first vector that's going to give us the distance between them and then we can use that uh, distance with the factor by simply multiplying the factor with this di distance uh, between the, those two we kind of get a percentage value between these two values that will be placed on this uh, line that is the now possible values between those two and we add it on top the clamping so we can do a lot of cool stuff with that. So uh, I hope I managed to explain things uh, uh, simple enough. It's not a complicated function, but uh, I found it complicated to explain. If you have suge suggestions about how I can uh, do this better or you are not certain of what I did, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Until uh, the next video, happy